Hi, it's Matt from Go Green Autos. So, uh, I just noticed this morning an update is ready to come down on the Tesla. So, just to recap, this has got the new version 11 software and it's a 2014 Model S. And that newer interface doesn't really work very well on these older cars. So, it'll be interesting to see what this new update brings. So, sorry for facing the sun here, it's probably not a very good image, but. Uh, I've just jumped in the car as I'm at work now and we're connected to the Wi-Fi so I thought I will get this installed and see what changes there are. So I'm back in the car it took about uh, half an hour to install so um, anyway what I'm seeing here in terms of the um, release notes are no different to the previous version um, so yeah, all of this is from the previous version. So let's jump back and go to software. So this is version 11 again, 2021.44.30.6 is what's now come down. Uh, and the previous version 11 with this new uh, user interface with these new custom icons down here, um, wasn't very good on these um, early Model S's and there was a lot of function that got took away. Uh, but of course we don't have to have the updates. I've got it set on advanced, which is basically beta. If you left it on standard, then you're not gonna get these things until all these problems are ironed out. But of course everyone leaves it on advanced because you wanna get the latest features straight away. But anyway, uh, let's have a look what's changed. So the first thing was the charging. And finally we got the state of charge adjustment back. Um, a very minimalized graphic compared to what was there before with the whole car, but at least we've got that back because that went and it wasn't possible to adjust your charge limit. And now you can. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Previously, um, with the version 11, you had to do it in the phone app. So that's great, that's been brought back. Um, again, it's not looking as good as it was, so it's still a bit of a downgrade, but at least they're addressing it and have brought it back in uh, a fairly short amount of time. Uh, and the vehicle, that all looks the same. Lights, display, that all looks the same. Dum -ba -dum -bum -bum. I'm not really expecting much else to be any different, to be honest. Um, so let's see if any of this interface has changed the media streaming because that was pretty bad no that's all still the same again worse than what it was on version 10 uh, and they haven't made any further changes to the customizable four icons down the bottom the main problem here with this version is they took away all the controls you'd actually want when you're driving like um, windscreen and rear window demister, um, heated seats and instead you've got the apps which actually most of these you don't use when you're driving so it seems a funny implementation here but anyway I'm sure that's going to get addressed. The thing that really annoys me with this new version is if I want to put the uh, rear heated window on or my heated seat I've got to swipe up to get to them but a lot of times you just touch it and what you do, you get this screen, but at the same time you've adjusted the temperature. Uh, and remembering to swipe every time rather than just a touch, it's all a bit naff really. Um, but anyway, we all don't like change of course, but um, yeah, the implementation of the heater controls is definitely a step backwards. So looking at this update, the only thing I can see that's different is setting that charge limit, which is good. Maybe they just rushed that through because a lot of people complaining about that. Um, everything else looks about the same. Let's just do a navigation. Yeah, that all looks, edit trip, yeah, that all looks the same. So yeah, it's just a little change adding that um, uh, state of charge limit, which is good. I'm glad that's been brought back in. Overall, just having that back then makes me much happier with this new interface. 
you know, I'm getting used to this a little bit. It's still not great, and I'd want the old one back for sure. But um, from what I understand is they're going to change this um, option of dropping down the apps and also giving you the option of heater and seat controls and de demisters and things like that. So if they do that, so it's you can have what you want and it's still fully customizable, then yes, that is a step forward. So that will do for this video. Uh, just to recap, this is a 2014 Model S. Uh, it is um, actually, I'm just going to tell you the mileage. I thought for a minute the dash had changed, but it hadn't. Yeah, and this has done 103,000 miles. Um, so yeah, I'm posting video updates or vlogs, as it were, on this car as I do anything to it or as things change or as faults arise just to give you some sort of idea of what it's like running an older Tesla Model S. This is a 2014, so it's as old as they get in the UK. I know they're two years older in the States, but this is as old as we can get them in the UK. And this will be going out of warranty in uh, some point this year. I, I can't remember, within five months' time, something like that, I think. So uh, I will be doing continued videos on this car as it ages and as I knock up the mileage. Okie doke, I'll see you on the next one.